Hello there and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Emily and I post weekly beauty videos and tutorials. So if that sounds like something that might interest you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today is going to be probably my most relaxed video I've ever done because I don't have a lot of makeup on, I don't have my nails, and we're going to do like a first impressions on some new nails. They're not like new, but they're new to me since I normally get my nails done with my nail tech, but COVID is currently running through my house, so I'm trying to just do something so that my bare nails aren't out because they keep getting hit on things and they're very weak and they hurt. Or they're just gone, like some of them aren't even long anymore because they've broken so badly. So if you want to hang out with me and kind of see my first impressions on these kiss nails, then just keep on watching. So I'm actually going to zoom through this first part because I have old polish on because it just kind of looked better than my shredded nail from, as you know, if you get like your nails done, your nail underneath is like really weak and really shredded underneath. So I put polish on them so they were at least smooth, but I need to take this off. So I have some acetone nail polish remover and some cotton balls. So let's zoom on through. Okay, so there is one nail done and this is taking a lot longer than I expected because this is glitter polish. So I'm actually just gonna like soak my nails in some cotton balls and acetone, which is not exciting to watch. So instead of zooming through, we're just gonna cut on to the good part. So I will see you when this nail polish is off of my nails. And I'm back and no nail polish and my hands were so dry so i hope i don't ruin this but i did put a little bit of lotion on um, i tried to not get it on my actual fingers if you ever do this at home just know you don't want to have anything on your fingers you want to have them like completely stripped and like i don't know if they have a little alcohol strip in here but whenever i used to do the impress press on nails those come with the alcohol strip for you to wipe off your nail so that there's no oil okay so i have two colors i don't know if you can see okay so this one's like a nude but it's like really pretty and like kind of faded and then this one is a bright kind of like periwinkle purple and yeah excuse my nails so this is what i mean by shredded so if you didn't know what i meant so this is what my nails look like after getting acrylics for so long i actually technically use a builder gel not an acrylic but either way my nail tech has to drill on my nail so they look like this and honestly i'm totally cool with my nails looking like this because i'm a nail biter so when i have my acrylics on or whatever they are that keeps me from biting them which is a disgusting habit so if you buy maybe you want to have acrylics like I do because that's what saves me anyways I'm trying to pick what color I think I'm gonna do the purple because why not it's fun it's purple I obviously like purple okay so let's break into these these are the kiss gel fantasy collection and these are the longer ones they don't all look like this honestly it was hard to find long ones and I probably should have got short ones, but I like long nails. They're so pretty. Okay, so it comes with a little glue. And then you get all of the nail pieces. Comes with the little adhesive tabs, which I think I'm going to use these and not the glue. And then here's all the pieces. So I'm just going to dump them into this one. Ooh, these are long. So the next thing is you want to size them up. So you just put it against your nail like this one is way too big. So, and they have numbers. Like this is zero. So that's the biggest one. So I'm not going to use that one. Try one. One is still too big, so I don't need the ones. Let's find a two. Okay, so I think two fits my thumb. Let me try to show you. So that just kind of fits in there. Okay, so that is number two, and there's a little number right there. I think I said that already. Okay, so now I have both of the number twos, and I'm gonna lay them back here so that you can see how I lay them. So I've just got both of the thumbs and then I'll do like the index and then the middle and then ring and then pinky. And then this is number seven and it fits on my index finger. So I've got seven and I'm putting it next to the thumb. And seven fits for both index fingers. So there's my thumb and index fingers. And then it's gonna be number five for my middle finger. 
and 11 for the ring fingers. And then of course the tiniest size for my pinkies is 13. I have tiny pinky nails. I always have to use the smallest one. I like don't even need to bother measuring. I just know it's gonna be the tiniest one. Okay, so here are my nails laid out and I'm gonna start with my pinkies and applying them with the adhesives. So you get a lot of adhesives. I think there's 28. I didn't do the math, but something like that. And so you could even do these more than once or if one of your nails falls off, you can maybe replace the adhesive. Okay, so I have my pinky nail here and I'm just gonna get the smallest adhesive. And it says to apply this onto your nail first. It's different for me. So I'm applying it to my nail, which is clean and dry. And then I'm pressing down. And it's okay that my nail is longer than the adhesive. It doesn't need more than what it gives you. And then I'm taking the nail, lining it up with my cuticle and then pushing down. I'm gonna push it for probably like a minute. And there you have one nail. Only nine more to go. And here are the pinkies. Okay, so now that I've got the hang of this, I'm just gonna kind of do it and talk to y'all at the same time. Kind of give y'all an update. So I said I was gonna have a New Year's video obviously it didn't happen um it's actually new year's eve right now when i'm filming this but it'll be a couple of weeks before this is out my christmas was actually ruined pretty much because we had a close contact with a family member who ended up being positive for covid we ended up getting my son tested to try to go to like christmas and he came back negative but it was after our christmas event so it still kind of ruined our christmas um, we ended up doing Christmas here at home, we did Santa, and then we ended up going to a Christmas on the next day with my family, which Colin didn't go to, which now is good because like three days later or two days later, Colin tested positive himself for COVID, which was just really shocking because we were only getting him tested because his job asked him to because we got Mylan tested and because we were in the close contact as well. It was just more so that Mylan was around them longer. We were only there for like two hours. But yeah, it was just, it was, it was weird. He went in to test and we were just like, oh, it's gonna be negative. And then it was positive. Like he didn't have symptoms. We just were kind of shocked. And so he's been in quarantine in another room since Tuesday, today's Friday. I've been on my own with our son, which is fine, but it's just been like, I get no downtime. Like I can't even believe I'm filming right now. I'm honestly shocked he's still asleep because it kind of took a while because I needed to eat and then get everything set up. But yeah, it's just kind of been a roller coaster over here. So sorry for the delay in videos. On the upside, we're at 339 subscribers today, which is so amazing. I'm so happy. Cannot wait to hit 400. I'm thinking a giveaway at 500. I want to do one at 400, but I just feel like I should wait till five because that's like the big number. Well, not like the big number. 1,000 is the big number. So back on to the um, virus talk. So I tested negative on Tuesday as well. I went and got tested as soon as Colin showed up positive because I needed to know if it was just like we're all positive or what and I came back negative so me and my limb are negative um Colin is stuck in one bedroom he comes out for like an hour in the morning and an hour in the afternoon with his mask on and sits in the corner of our living room while Milam plays and that way he gets to at least see his dad but like Milam isn't allowed to touch him and stuff so it's just kind of hard and yeah I'm just on my own with everything and it's just been very tasking this is supposed to be my break from teaching and I am on a break from teaching so I'm not gonna complain but it's just kind of turned into I have to do everything by myself I need to clean because I'm probably gonna catch COVID and I don't want the house to be a disaster. So I've been cleaning, catching up on laundry. I'm pretty optimistic that I'm not gonna get it, um, at least like right now, because I feel like if I was gonna get it, I would have known by now, especially with it being Friday. We're up to five nails, by the way. Looking pretty good. So 
Sorry, I'm trying to like tutorial and talk at the same time. Anyways, I haven't gotten it yet, so fingers crossed that I don't get it, but it's looking like I will since this virus is more, since this strain of the virus is more contagious. And more so I'm just worried because I don't want Milam to get it, so as long as he doesn't get it, I'm happy. I don't really care if I get it. It's just really unfortunate because we had just gotten a cold. We know it was a cold. We've been tested so much in the last month. Anyways, we know it was a cold and we all got that and we all had to get through that. And then I was like, okay, as soon as we are done with this cold, we're going to go get our booster shot. And then we got COVID. Well, Colin did. So it's just, we haven't been able to get our boosters. Trying my best to keep this away from Milam. He's, everybody's gone back to life. So like Colin's gone back to work. Milam's gone back to school. I've been in school or work or whatever you want to call it. I'm a teacher. Honestly, I'm shocked I haven't gotten it prior to now because I teach, I'm sure I've told y'all, like 800 kids by the time it's the sixth day. So like Monday is 120, Tuesday a different 120. It goes on for six days and then it repeats. So I teach a different set of kids every 45 minutes. So that virus is just like constantly coming through my room. I'm shocked I haven't gotten it, but I was really, really strict on protocol last year when everything was crazy. So that's probably why. And honestly, I'm still a little bit crazy about it. Like I take a shower before I touch my son every day. I change my clothes, obviously. I used to change like in the garage. But yeah, since Milam's gone back to school, I try to be a little bit more lenient. He's gotten sick several times since going back to school, but not COVID. Anyways, just give me some grace on the videos, I guess is what I'm getting at. Telling y'all our entire COVID story. At least I'm getting chattier, right? Mm. Okay, so when I get to this point, when I have my dominant hand pointer and thumb not done, and then I'm only down to one thumb over here, I will do this thumb first. That way I have these fingers left to help me peel the adhesive. And then I'm actually gonna do the adhesive on both these fingers and then apply the nails. That way I don't have to do all the peeling with these big crazy nails on. So let me go ahead and do this thumb. I know this isn't the most like in-depth tutorial, I really just wanted to put these nails on and thought that I would show y'all and talk to y'all and kind of catch up. So if you do like this or you want me to like do more stuff like this, I probably won't be nails because I do plan on getting my nails put back on professionally. But still, let me know if this is something that you like because this is something that I really loved doing back when I didn't have enough money to go to a nail tech. This was my go-to, not these kind exactly. This is my first time using the Kiss brand but the impress nails whenever those first came out those were the bomb they used to come in these like cute little nail bottles i don't think they do anymore i think they just come in a box but they were so cool that was probably like oh my gosh 12 years ago when i started using those okay so here's one hand done and they look really good I mean, me, I like know what to look for, so they do look like press-on nails to me, but to somebody that doesn't know what to look for, these just look like a bomb set of nails. And honestly, even though they're press-on doesn't mean anything, they are still bomb. These will last you several days if you are careful. Also, pro tip, and it's on the box too, do not wash your hands for an hour after applying these. Don't let your hands get wet, because you want to make sure that this adhesive really, really adheres to your nail. Ooh, I love them, they're so pretty. Okay, so now I'm down to the last two nails and it's on my dominant hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the stickies for each one. And so I've got the adhesive on for each one. I don't know if you can see it on my index finger and then on my thumb. And then they have the little film on there. I will say like, I like these, these are good. It's just an extra step that those impress nails don't have. It's cool because it gives you the option between using the glue or not. But since I really like the tabs, the impress nails, you just peel it off one end and then you stick it on. It's already attached to the fake nails. It's a little bit quicker, but these are nice because you can replace the adhesive. I don't think you can replace the adhesive for the impress nails. These are reusable. These are these really are more worth the money when you think about it because you can use these more than once and you can file these other ones down on the sides to make them smaller so that you can use these too even though they don't fit your nail all the way. And 
Nailing the tab with fake nails. You can tell that this is a very strong adhesive though. Like the nails really, you don't have to even hold on for a minute. I love this color. I'm trying to debate on if I want to put like some glitter on these or if I just want to leave them how they are. Time for the last nail. And there we have them. I absolutely love how they turned out. They look so cute. I love the shape. I don't even really want to file them. Like it came with a file and said, oh, they might be sharp, but really they're not. Ooh, I love them. Do they look good? And here's the finished product. Like I said, I'm in love with how these nails turned out. They're really beautiful. They're easy to put on and they're perfect for what I need. I just need something to keep me from biting or breaking my natural nails and something that I could do myself at home. So I definitely approve of these nails. I love them. They turned out so good. I'm definitely excited to try these out. Hopefully I get to try them before I get my other nails put back on. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I love how they turned out. If you like them and this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next new video. Anyways. I hope that you liked this tutorial and I hope that you had a good time catching up with me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!